Good afternoon, Southwest Florida. I'm Hannah Wallace. The Staples Herald Lunch Break is sponsored by Conditioned Air, the comfort people since 1962. This afternoon, we'll tell you about a fun-filled fundraiser, a new crime report, and more. Today is Thursday, June 29th, and this is the Lunch Break. La Playa Beach and Golf Resort will be hosting its fifth annual Castles for Kids Sand Sculpting Competition on Wednesday, August 2nd. The fundraiser is designed to bring in funds for the STEAM educational program provided by the Golisano Children's Museum of Naples, which is also known as Come On. The STEAM program is for educating students in their ability to comprehend learning challenges in science, technology, engineering, the arts, and mathematics. This fundraiser is intended to bring the community together for some fun in the sun activities while still making a difference. As 20 teams, each with four children and one adult, aim to build the best sandcastle creation they can. The creations can range from mermaids to pirates to even fish, as long as children and families are having a great time and using a wide range of their imagination. Team registration is $100 per team and that includes lunch for you too. You can register online to join in on the fun for a good cause at comeon.org. For more on this fun-filled fundraiser, visit NaplesHerald.com. Scores are up around the Lee County School District. 52% of Lee schools earned an A or a B, while the district as a whole earned a B grade according to the new data released Wednesday by the state's Department of Education. Last year, two schools in the school district were rated F schools, but have improved in the rankings this year. The district calculations rank it 30th among the state's 67 school districts, which is an improvement from its 35th place of last year. For more details on how your child's school ranked and the rest of the story, go to leeherald.com. According to a new federal report released Thursday, the majority of hate crimes taken place over a 12-year period in the United States were not reported to the police. More than half of the 250,000 hate crimes that took place each year between 2004 and 2015 went unreported to law enforcement for a variety of reasons, according to a new special report on hate crimes from the Bureau of Justice Statistics. Hate crimes were most often not reported because they were handled some other way, but people also didn't come forward because they didn't feel it was important or that police would help them. The new report said that there was no significant increase in the number of hate crimes between 2004 and 2015. It cites racial bias as the top motivation, representing more than 48% of the cases between 2011 and 2015. Hate crimes motivated by ethnicity accounted for about 35% of those cases, and sexual orientation represented about 22%. Almost all of those surveys said they felt they were experiencing a hate crime because of something that was said to them during that incident. For more on this new report, go to thenaplesherald.com. And that was the lunch break for today. I'm Hannah Wallace. The lunch break airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out the morning report that also airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.